In this section, we will see how AstroPy handles the concepts of constants, units, and quantities. The constants module from AstroPy, reachable via astropy.constants, contains a number of physical constants useful in astronomy. Constants are quantity objects with additional metadata describing their provenance and uncertainties. To use constants and units from the international system, you can import the constant directly as follows. For example, from astropy.constants, import big G. In this case, we would import the gravitational constant. To import all constants, you can simply import the package. For example, from astropy, import constants as const. Then you can print const.g which will give you the gravitational constant. As we said before, constants are quantity objects. You can easily convert them to different units. This is done using the to function specifying the target unit. For example, you can convert c, the speed of light in vacuum, to kilometers per second. And similarly, you can convert it to parsec per year. Constants can also be jointly used with other units and non-constant quantity objects, as shown in the example below. Astropilot Units handles defining, converting between, and performing arithmetic with physical quantities, for instance meters, seconds, hertz, etc. It also handles logarithmic units, such as magnitude and decibels. It does not know spherical geometry, or sexagesimal. For celestial coordinates, see the astropy.coordinates package. As is common in physics, a common way to use astropy.units is to work with quantities, the combination of a value and a unit. The easiest way to create a quantity is to multiply or divide a value by one of the built-in units. It works with scalars, sequences, and numpy arrays, as shown below. We can access the unit and value from a quantity using its members. For instance, here Q is the quantity 42 meters. If we want to have the value, we do Q.value, which returns 42, and Q.unit returns the unit meters. From here, we can easily combine different quantities, units, as building blocks. For example, 15.1 times meter divided by 32 times second will give us the result in meters per second. It also handles rules such as double division corresponding to a multiplication. So for example, here we have kilometers times seconds per meter. Similarly, unit cancellation can be handled as well. You can directly work with units at a lower level to create custom units. For example, here we import the imperial system, we create a centimeter per second unit, a mile per hour unit, and then we can easily convert a quantity from centimeters per second to miles per hour. Units that cancel out become a special unit called dimensionless. Astropilot units also handles equivalencies such as that between wavelength and frequency. Equivalence objects are passed to the to conversion method. For instance, a conversion from wavelength to frequency doesn't normally work out of the box. This is solved by passing an equivalency list, for example, here spectral. 